Do you want to know the secret tools to record multicam from your screen, camera, iPhone or iPad at the same time? Okay, let's come straight to the point. I have been testing Dita, which I will show you in a minute, for a year now. At first I was very skeptic about it, but then I was like blowing away how good it actually is. Simplicity is the biggest reason why. I can plug in so many devices and multiple screens at once, why I record all on one timeline on my SSD in one location simultaneously, which is like crazy. Oh, I also record this video right now on their software. All right, guys, let me show you the power of detail. Ah, by the way, detail is not sponsoring this video. So it's actually all from my own thoughts and from my testing over this year. They have provided me an affiliate link for you. So you can also save one month and then you can test around. And I earn a little bit of bucks from it if you choose to stick to details. And yeah, you support this channel. So thanks for that. So I just want to be transparent with you because that's very important to me. And I really love testing new equipment, new tools. Tools. This one is my favorite one as I'm using it for so long. It really has simplified my whole workflow, creating these types of content as well, working with my clients and using amazing camera setup. And I want to share with you how you can simplify your workflow. Let's come first, why to use detail? I was looking for an alternative to OBS that would allow me to record for my screens as well as my phone, action camera and bigger camera. And I was completely overwhelmed with all the settings in OBS and then it was not working. So I just put it away and then I was like Googling and find detail, voila, I was using it. Basically my first thoughts was like, is it that simple? And yes, it is. In the beginning, the software had some bugs, but over the time now, they are completely fixed all the issues and now it works really smooth. That's why I create this video after a year of testing or let's keep it real. I was a little bit of procrastinating of creating this video. Sorry. So here are five reasons why you should check out details. Number one, it is easy to set up using your camera or webcam. You can use the iPhone or and an iPad wirelessly as a camera and choosing the lenses, front lens, back lens at the same time when all recording in one timeline. Number two, controlling or recording all cameras and screens in one software and then changing the few points of the video before, during or after the recording. Number three, standing out with high quality at coaching sessions, Zoom calls, live sessions or online courses with the highest quality of your devices you have connected. So basically you are in control of the quality and not getting the down compressed footage from your Zoom recording. Number four, details recording everything on your Mac. No matter if you are using a camera or iPhone wirelessly, it saves all in the project on your Mac or SSD you're using. Number five, so many features are coming with details, changing to vertical, horizontal in one click, having your video layout such as combo screen, as well as using AI transcription and highlight makers, editing titles, exporting the XML files so you can edit in other software like DaVinci Resolve. It's crazy to see what you all have included in this software. Before I show you how I use details and how my setup looks, I want to answer the question for for which people would be details useful. People or creator who are doing YouTube, podcasts, presentation, online courses or professional coaching calls and then wants to create engaging social media content out of it. How do you use details? In these days, I mostly record YouTube videos and doing screen recording with detail. I use whatever camera I have with a professional microphone to also be able to do split screen videos in seconds for a strategy coaching call, for example. Here I will show you how I connect all of them to my Mac and then as well using detail. In order to connect the professional camera, you need to have a capture card which is connected with USB and I use CamLink or maybe you have a camera which sends the video signal via USB-C. For example, the Insta 60 X3 can also be used as a webcam which is very quick and easy to set up. The ability to use your iPad or no, 
and your iPhone at the same time wirelessly with details is just a game changer for me. And this is how you connect it wirelessly. Super easy, using the detail app on my iPad or iPhone 15 Pro Max, and then on my Mac, I open also the software. And as are both in the same Wi-Fi network, they are connected. The quality is just amazing and how fluent the connection is and transferring the video signal from my camera or the phone to my Mac. The phone can also be connected to your Mac via lightning cable or USB-C to use the camera or doing the screen sharing. Next, I connect the Shure MV via USB-C and select it as a main input audio device and that's all. Now, all I have to do is create multiple screen sets on my Mac using detail and select the Sony A1, iPhone, and the Insul 60X3, where you can also either use both lenses or just one lens, and then choose the screen you want to record or also add a combo here. So you can have the screen recording in the background and you have your main camera on the left corner. No problem of sitting still at your desk instead of running around, pressing play on all the devices. Detail records everything at once without pressing record on the devices. As soon as you click record, everything will be stored and sent to your Mac or SSD in one project file with all the separate video files and audio lines of the devices you have connected. While recording, you can also change the sequence and it will cut and change the camera angle. So this is not what I can do right now, but it's super easy and handy when you're recording podcasts and you have someone who can do this in the background. So it can be changed while recording or afterwards. So for example, you're recording a live session and what you can do is you can change the angle while you're live. Afterwards, you can do whatever you want. You can change every camera angle, every screen you want to show. It is that crazy easy. That's about the recording and the connection part. It is now possible to edit all in detail by changing screens or removing parts that are unnecessary and then export it in low or high res quality. Also, like I mentioned before, you can export the XML files for other software for more advanced editing. The sweet part is you can also create and export transcription from your recorded video. The AI insights to create title, description or hashtags automatically for YouTube or social media platform. This is super handy, but remember it's AI, so it's better to check and improve the results before you're posting it. For all of this, I'm using TubeBuddy, which I highly recommend. I will also link it in the description down below. So what are my thoughts about detail? Overall, I like how easy it is and I can switch between scenes in my coaching calls and record without pressing record on the cameras. Oh, and I just want to point out that over settings, you can change also the recording video bitrate from low, mid and high, as well the library storage location. I use my SSD because it works well and I don't have to worry about running out of storage space. All right, folks, that's about it. It's a lot of information about this amazing software and I'm so grateful that it is available. Thanks to Details for this amazing tool. If you have any more questions about Details, let me know in the comments down below as well. What do you think about it? Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and we will see us in the next video. Until then, stay creative. Until then, stay creative. Hopefully it has recorded everything. 40 minutes. That's good.